Hi everyone, John here from Audio Imperia. In this video, I'll be covering how to use the sample start controller within Pyramid, our unified engine for contact. In addition to giving some insights into our editing process when building libraries, please note that sample start is a very powerful tool which will help you to dramatically enhance the realism of your mockups. All samples in Audio Imperia products are meticulously edited to ensure that patches will play realistically and consistently in time. We could cut samples using essentially a gate by splitting each sample at the start of its waveform. However, editing samples in this way will result in a patch with timing inconsistencies. Instead, we listen to every single sample in the library and shift it either earlier or later until it sounds perfectly in time with the click. Let's have a listen to two examples. The first with samples being well edited so MIDI plays back in time and the second with samples being inconsistently edited resulting in timing issues. Now, the same extract, but with samples being inconsistently edited. We refer to this point where our sample sounds in time with the click as the sync point. If we were to cut each sample exactly at the sync point, we'd be losing some very important audio content, as samples sound a lot more natural when there's some audio content preserved before this. When building our libraries, we cut every sample a fixed amount of time before the sync point. And this audio content between the start of a sample and the sync point is referred to as pre-padding. Samples with generous pre-padding will sound the most natural, but will introduce notable latency. Playing a patch with a large amount of latency can be rather difficult. This is when the sample start controller comes in. It allows you to choose where samples will start playing back from, hence the name. 250 milliseconds before the sync point labels minus 250 ms, or right up to the sync point itself labeled 0 ms. By setting sample start, you can adjust how tight or loose a patch will be. A sample start value closer to 0 ms results in a tighter patch, meaning it has lower latency but attacks, legato transitions and releases sound very abrupt and unnatural. A sample start value closer to minus 250 ms results in a looser patch, meaning it has higher latency but is much more realistic as attacks, legato transitions and releases have that extra audio content. So, how do we recommend using the sample start controller? Here's a proposed workflow. When recording MIDI, Set sample start to 0 ms. This will cause the patch to sound a little unnatural and abrupt, but will virtually eliminate latency. Once you're done recording for playback, set sample start to a larger value. Let's set sample start at minus 125 ms as an example. This will introduce a latency of 125 milliseconds, which should then be compensated for. For latency compensation, try either shifting your MIDI items earlier in time by 125 milliseconds, or if your door supports it, applying a negative 125 milliseconds offset. This will keep your original recordings in time, but attacks, legato transitions and releases will be much more realistic. Let's have a look at how you can apply negative MIDI offsets in the most popular doors. Inside Logic, you can set this offset within the inspector on the left hand side. Within Cubase, it's very similar, inside the inspector and next to the clock icon. Within Reaper, you can do this inside Routine, playback time offset. Within Studio One, go into the inspector and then the delay. 
Here, minus 125 ms is of course just an example, and we encourage you to experiment and adjust the setting to your liking. Just make sure that whatever value is displayed on the sample start controller is the value you're using for latency compensation. In all our products, we've set sample start to negative 125 milliseconds as default for all patches, as we find the setting to be the best compromise between playability and realism. Since switching back and forth between sample start values can be a bit cumbersome, we've added the tight pattern on the main page of Pyramid. By enabling tight, sample start is set to 0ms, and by disabling tight, sample start is set in the previously set value. This allows you to switch between the two values easily. If you just want patches without latency, and you don't want to worry about sample start, just enable the type button. Still, we highly encourage you to try the workflow proposed here, as it allows you to best use our libraries to their full potential. I hope this video was useful and helped explain why we include a sample start controller in our libraries. We also have a small write-up covering most of what was covered in this video, which you can find in the Pyramid Manual, which can be downloaded from the link below on our website. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks very much for watching.